with you, writing a book, or being on the radio, you know what, at the end, Melanie doesn't matter. I'm not important. I'm just a vessel, I'm just somebody that wanna be used by God to help others. That's, my, that's the mission of my life. Everything else is, you know, the cherries on the piña colada. But yeah, that, that's, it. That, that's the honest truth. That's the honest truth. Because life is more than just our, our desires or needs. It's about, hey, what is our role? What we were born for? What is my mission? What I have been called for? And knowing that, really give a 360 shift to our mentality and the way we approach life. What's up, Sussex? Welcome to another episode of I Am Sussex. I am here with the one and only Melody Figueroa, a local author and businesswoman. How are you doing today? Um, I'm thrilled. I'm like, super excited to be here. Um, thank feels you. Feels like being home, so thank you for the invitation. And you know, people get ready because I don't. I'm not very sure what this um, podcast and this interview <laughs> is going to um, entitle yeah. completely, but we are looking forward for those questions. And, let's and do let's it. See. Let's do it. Who are you? I think that's a great question, Jose. Who I am? But let me start saying that I'm a I'm a Caribbean girl, born and raised in Puerto Rico. I'm somehow, I say somehow, but I really know how. Uh, we ended up in this beautiful comuni community. Um, I'm, a, I'm a girl, um, young person, full of dreams, hopes, and really looking forward to leave a, a, a legacy, not only on my generation, but in every place God planted me. That's what's up. Now, why Sussex? So, crazy story, but, um, but it is my story. I was finishing my MBA and an opportunity to, to work here in Milford um, came my way, so I, I ended up moving. What is crazy about it is sometimes in life we take decisions, correct, to follow dream or to follow. In my case, I, was, I, I really felt hard in my, in my heart that I was, that's where God wanted me to go. So I moved here, started working from, from the bottom up my way. And why Sussex? Because this is the place God has planted me, and this is my, <laughs> the place that I want to leave a legacy, and this is the place that I want to contribute and help others, maybe that came like me one day, and to take it to the next level. Yeah, I would be lying if I say that I, take it, I, I took it to the next level by my own strength or by my own capacities. Yes, education helped, but at the end, moving from one country to another and picking a city or a job or, you know, that whole process, it takes a, a lot of um, faith. And wow, I'm so blessed that I have had God by my side um, leading my way. And I don't know what the future holds, but he's on his hands, so I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. So question for you, you were finishing your MBA where in Puerto Rico? Yes, that's so correct. So prior to that offer, do you ever hear about Delaware? No, no, actually, I, I always knew deep in my heart that when I finished, I, I was not living on the island. I, I knew that, you know, when you know that you know yeah. that. So that was me. So um, when the offer came or the opportunity to the, do the interview and the whole process, I was like, I told my parents, I have a very close relationship with my family. I'm like, people, um, I got this opportunity to do an interview and the, you know the final job is going to be in Delaware, and they were like, "Okay, let's Google it." Delaware, we're in the map. Mm -hmm. And but what is crazy about this is I don't know if you know, but the size of Delaware is very similar to the size of Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think it was meant to be, and you know what, Delaware, Sussex County have been so good to me in so many ways and that I just want to give back. That's right. So one of the ways that you give back, you um, have your weekly radio show. So talk to us about the show that you do in, in Spanish, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'm not going to throw some Spanish words at you today. <laughs> Maybe another, you can, another, you another can, occasion, you can, you another can, interview. Can. But yeah, so... Um, What's the purpose? So really the name of the, the segment or show, whatever you want to call it, is called Ondas Que Transforman. 
in English that is waves that transform. Waves that transform. Yeah, you know. Um, so we are in the we are at Maxima with a group of amazing people that mm -hmm. is my tribe, my people. Um, they have been good to me, and the message really is about a message of hope, faith, about encouraging others to take the next step and also just giving them giving them the resources that they might need in, in particular situations because let's 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 be honest here life is full of obstacles mm -hmm. it's, it's not a sprint it, it's a it's a really a marathon and it, it's about sharing those things but also it's based and have its fundaments on the word of God, which is really how I, you, you know, base my life and live my life. And what led you to go um, spread the message in the radio? So, it's super funny. Uh, I have a book, as uh -huh. you know. Um, it's called, yeah, we're going to talk about it. Yeah, Oliver and the Magic Door, and it's a bilingual book. So, as part of the media tour, um, I, you know, that Maxima was on my schedule to visit. And we had the interview there and the opportunity pop up that same day and two weeks later um, I got my own space to talk about what God had put on my heart and we have been doing it for two years and a half probably three in September so super excited it's a blessing I have passion for it I do it with my heart I, God has been so good to me uh, through so many people that whatever I can do to serve him first and love the people that he's surrounding me with or that he put on the other side of the radio, you know what? It's worth waking up super early on the morning. It's worth the extra effort because one day somebody did it for me. That's right. So I'm just, I'm blessed. I love it. I love it. And I'm very thankful for the radio station and the management people there that allow me every single week to share a word of hope. And, and, and it, it's well received because um, I hear it, the community hear it, people talk about it. Talk to us about the book, Oliver y, y la Puerta Magica. So, um, first of all, it's a bilingual book. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, you know, born and raised in Puerto Rico and moving in here, I realized that there was really a need for having books that include both languages when our kids you know, go to their schools and they're on recess and all that kind of stuff, they might be you know, sitting with people that don't understand completely their language, but with a book like this, they have something that they can both sit together because they have both languages, Spanish and English on each um, page, and they can have something in common. And really this book is about friendship, loyalty, and pursuing and being persistent in your dreams. So, so Oliver, um, see his friend Carla, which is a cardinal dancing every day with the sun on the skies. And he asks himself, like, oh my God, I really want to be able to do that as well. Well, he's a raccoon, what you can expect, correct? But the book and the story is about his journey to the magic door because he heard that in the summer solstice, which is the longest day of the year. I love science, uh -huh. sorry. Um, Mr. Sun is going to throw a party and to those who are able to reach the door or find the door, he's going to grant them a wish. So, you know, the whole story is about persistent, loyalty, friend, friendship. And as you can see, it's full of things that is not only for kids, but it's, it's also for adults. When I was putting this book together, which was a gift for my life itself, I was thinking, hey, I really want us to be something more just than a, a pretty book with amazing graphics. I wanted that kids and adults, once they read it, something in their hearts, you know, grow for good. That's right. So... So question for you, where can people find the book, buy the book? So really we are on Amazon, mm -hmm. so you can find us there by Melanie Figueroa Benitez because I do have a mom, mm -hmm. very important in my life. And you will find it or just put in the title or if you find me on social media. And also the audio too, right? Yeah, uh, uh -huh. so funny story, uh, I came with this idea and uh -huh. thought to one of my friends, I say, 
what about if we turn the book into an audiobook? And he is a person gifted with his voice, and he have done amazing job for other people on, you know, narrating books and uh -huh. stuff like that. So he helped me give life to the audiobook. So you can find that as well in iTunes or Audible. Audible, from, yeah, from I bought Amazon. a copy. That's so, awesome. You know, but the most important thing is we are not going to make sure money is not important. It's about getting the, the message out and sharing a little bit of the things that we have learned in this journey. That's right. And stay tuned, man. We got some awesome stuff in store here in the future, some ideas that she have for getting the book out. So um, locally, if anybody wanted to get the book, basically they can reach out to you on Instagram. Yes, they can. And what's uh, under what? So... Melanie Figueroa, but if you need to find, you know, the, the username or whatever, it's melaniefigueroa.pr. Yeah, you can use that for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, so. Awesome. And we'll, it'll definitely be on this post. I, wherever you see this, um, this podcast, we'll have our information. Um, another question. Outside of your book, what books are you currently reading? So... I don't have a ton of time. That, uh -huh. That's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. People that know me, I have a very busy schedule. Uh -huh. So really, I spend my, my available time or my time off reading the Bible. Okay. Um, it's life to my, my life. Uh -huh. it, it, when I feel alone, it gives me the strength to continue. It, it reminds me that I'm not alone. It gives me the resources for, for the future, for the tomorrow, because we right now we live in a society that we are so concerned about the future, but what about if we let the future just in God's hands and, and, and the Bible and the, the Word of God, which is life to my life, um, is just, you know, what I have been reading, to be honest. I, I feel that is what each one of us need, not to only live successfully, because everybody wanna be successful, but to live in peace, to live with hope, to live leaving a mark and a legacy. Because at the end of the world, let's be let's be transparent. You and I, one day we're not going to be here any longer. Mm -hmm. But whatever we leave on people, life, histories, memories, teaching, that really is going to last. So that's where I am. That's what's up, man. So since you said the Bible is the is what you've been really diving into. Mm -hmm. What is one quote that you live by? So you asked me for one, but I need to give you two. Give me two. Uh, or give me I three. Need... <laughs> yeah. No, so, hey, love God and love your neighbor. That's, you know, how I rule my life. But secondly, there is something that is reading in the tables of my heart and is hey, three things. Um, God, we represent multiple things in life. We represent... You name it, whatever you want to say. But there is three that for me are essential. And it's, first of all, representing God. I think I, I have mentioned to others, there is people that, unfortunately, are, they, they are never going to put their, their foot in a, in a church. Mm -hmm. but, but what about if through my life and your life and the people that is on this studio, they get to experience the love of God? Secondly, is representing our family, or parents. People probably will never go to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. But maybe through my life, I will be a good vessel and a good model of the values, the teachings, and all the hard work that they put on my life. And number three, we represent our countries. Melanie, you live in Milford, right? Um, what other areas here in Sussex County do you really enjoy? Um, the beach, state parks, so yes, um, as you just mentioned, I live in Milford. I love um, everything that had to do with the water and the sand. So I enjoy, you know, coming at, at least on the summer, just spending time with with my brother and just you know walking around. I, I mentioned I don't have a ton of time, so when I do have it, I, I like to wake up early and hit the beach and have a great time there. It just brings me memories. Of, of the island, it brings me memories of good times when I was growing up, and, um, and it connects me with my roots and with my essence. You know what, um, <laughs> people, is go, people go so fast. Yeah. 
every single day and everything that they do. And, and, and sometimes we are also part of that trend, but being able to pause, take a step back, look around and put things on perspective. And that's what I do when I go to the, to, the, to, the, you know, to the water and to the sand and all that kind of stuff, makes you understand how blessed we are. Yeah. Because actually this morning I wake up and, and I'm like, wow, thanks God, because I can see full color. We take it for granted. Yeah. I, I have the opportunity and the privilege of hearing your voice. We wake up every single day on the go, 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 that we forget that the smallest things in life usually are the most meaningful. That's right. So I have learned that I try to, every time that I get a chance to, to make a pause and put my life in perspective and say, hey, you know what? Wow. Who, who would have thought that one day I was going to be here in Sussex, in Milford, with you, writing a book, or being on the radio. You know what, at the end, Melanie doesn't matter. I'm not important. Mm -hmm. I'm just a vessel, I'm just somebody that wanna be used by God to help others. That's, my, that's the mission of my life. Everything else is, you know, the cherries on the piña colada, but, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's, that's, it. That, that's the honest yeah. truth. That's yeah. the honest truth. Because life is more than just our, our desires or needs. It's about, hey, what is our role? What we were born for? What is my mission? What I have been called for? And knowing that really give a 360 shift to our mentality and the way we approach life. And I know that you've been talking about the your main mission is right to be used at the, as a vessel and you spread the word. Um, how has that impacted what you do on a daily basis? Oh, that, that's a great <laughs> comment. And I, I would say in every single way, Jose, because it's not, we, you don't get two Melanie's. What you see is what you get with the camera on or with the camera off. So this is not only what I reflect or the message I share when the mic is on on the radio or when I'm you know, at certain places. The, the love of God for me, because once I was lost, impacted me in so many ways that the way I work is impacted by it. The way I have relationship with others, have the season of heaven, Every, every friendship that I have, I try to live them better. Not because I'm a better person or I'm in a different status, it's because when we are together, we accomplish so much more. So it's part, it's, it's part of my essence, my cologne, you know? It's part of who I am, and I'm so grateful for it. Mm. Because once, man, <laughs> It was not the Melanie that you see in front of you. Mm -hmm. we, we all carry a story. Yeah. And I've been watched by the blood, man. I have been watched by the blood. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So once again, how can um, people get a hold of you? Is there a phone number if they want to call you or you want them to reach out through social media? Yeah. Hey, so I would say the best way to reach out to me is... Mm -hmm. Look for Melanie Figueroa um, on social media. We are in the major platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We have videos of what we do on the radio over there. So check I've it out. I've seen them, man. You got to check it out on Instagram. Yeah, so Melanie Figueroa dot, Melanie Figueroa dot PR is the, the actual username. But as I mentioned, and if I have to leave people with something today, is that, hey, God love them. He's, he has his arm wide open for, for every one of them. And that is not about Melanie. No, 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 never, never. It's just about, you know, the love of God, so. Boom. Thank you so much. Thank you for being on the program. No, thank you for having me. Peace. Thanks for watching Your Sweet Sussex. And for more episodes, go to IamSussex.com.